been kind of boring, but it is what it is. Let's see, there's one hoe, and there's two trucks at least in front of me. There could be a third one right over there. There's one behind me, as you can see right there, or even right there. Then there's two more plus me. My dozer down there is still broke. So, I don't know. The, um, it has a uh, leak, I'm going to guess, because they had uh, filled up the antifreeze or the coolant in the reservoir, but I checked it today and it's all gone. So there's a leak in one, either one of the hoses or possibly the radiator, not really sure, but oh well. And then there's the other dozer guy right down there talking to the big boss man. Which I believe that's the foreman in the dozer right now. But he's talking to the big, big boss. Which is the super. But yeah, just haven't really done much today. Except for haul rock. That's why I haven't really showed much today. Because all we're doing is saying just a different day. You know? They're all over there. That's the big pile over there. That we're putting for the rock. And then the dirty dirt rock is going over there. And that's all we're doing. I mean, it rained yesterday, so it's a little wet out. You could see in the previous uh, clip that it rained a little bit. But it's not like it was enough to where we're slipping and sliding everywhere. Because we weren't. It just made it wet in certain parts. And it's cloudy out today. But one thing, like I said, I'm not looking forward to is this winter. I really just want to move somewhere warmer. Where it's warm all year round. But I want to do my best to get this experience that I would need on the dozer. So I can continue being on the dozer at a different company if I decide to move. You know what I mean? Because only a couple months, you're definitely not going to, of experience, you're definitely not going to get any type of, um, how the, what's the word for it? You're not going to get on a dose. Most places, if you are <clears throat> looking to get into this type of work, the starting out point would be, you know, either a laborer on a pipe crew, punch crew, or... If you're trying to do dirt work as roller, and then the next step would be getting on the truck on a dirt crew, and then you work your way up there and eventually get on a piece of equipment like a hoe or a hoe or a rubber tire, which usually those the rubber tires go with the pipe crew. So I've never seen a, a rubber tire with the dirt, but either a, a loader hoe. Or a dozer. Yep. <clears throat> so I want to get a couple years experience. Because a lot of places that I've even looked at. You have to have a couple, at least three years at minimum. So far that I've seen so far. But I wouldn't doubt there's companies. Outlier companies that will help you out. And hire you. But you just got to look for them. But yeah. This is my view. It's nothing crazy because it's just rock and dirt and plus we can't really do much anyway because of the fact that this pile right here of rock and dirt this pile is actually where a lot of the building pad is because there's supposed to be a building pad all right here so 